Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Break It Down. In this episode, we'll be going over how we can approach bases that are specifically designed to counter our attack style. We'll be breaking down an anti Kamizanzuk's war base in such a way that we can still walk away with a victory in the end. This attack is another one of my war attacks. Our target for this attack is a level 263 Space Age base with a rocket arsenal. Notice how there are no gates on the perimeter of this base. This is a typical anti commies and Zooks base, because commies can only bypass walls through gates, and the meat can only be lured out of the base by gates. The total absence of gates on the perimeter is a huge problem. Not only will our commies have a harder time getting through the walls, but our normal attack order of decoying and drawing out the meat is not going to work. The generals on this base are not the worst, but a level 32 Zukov can definitely be a problem. The troop spawning buildings are all clumped around the Acropolis. This is screaming for a Blitzkrieg. Sometimes, if the rocket arsenal is really accessible, we can try to take it out in the beginning. However, the rocket arsenal here is not easy to get to, so we'll have to ignore it at the beginning and deal with it later. And let's talk about the mortar placement. Notice that they're all concentrated on the west and southwest. Let's try to make a war plan that will take advantage of this. As for coalitions, we're running the three offensive Americans, Aztecs, and Ethiopians. Our target also ran offensive coalitions, so thankfully that will make our attack a little easier. For my war tactics, I'm bringing three decoys, one sabotage, my steroids, and of course, Strength of the Gladiator and Blitzkrieg. For troop tactics, I'm bringing three MP armies and one fire thrower army. The decision to bring MP armies is very intentional, and we'll talk about why in the attack plan. Our attack plan will be as follows. Break the wall. We have to break through the wall first if we want to run commies and zooks. There is a bit of wall on the south corner that looks promising for wall breakers. The east corner looks tempting too, but we also know from watching another teammate's attack that there is barbed wire on the east corner, so it's probably best that we avoid that part. After we break the wall, hopefully the meat can be lured out as usual and we can just follow the normal order. Decoy near the town center to trigger all the important buildings drop our meat grinder at the wall opening, drop commies around the perimeter, blitzkrieg at the acropolis, steroid combination on the meat grinder, drop our three MP armies on the east side. This is where we're taking advantage of the fact that all the buildings that deal splash damage are concentrated on the west. Sabotage the rocket arsenal. Our level 7 sabotage lasts for 16 seconds, so hopefully this will buy us enough time to take out the rocket arsenal. Okay, so I don't really know what happened here, but I was trying to screen record right before the attack started, and once it started screen recording, it deployed at random infantry on the right side, and I'm pretty sure I don't even have that infantry to begin with, so really weird glitch, and kind of a weird way to start off an attack. So as you can see in the beginning, I'm kind of confused. I select my decoy first because the attack already started and I was like, wait, what the heck's going on? But then I realized, of course, that I have to start out with my wall breakers. So here I rally my wall breakers onto that tower. So I make sure that they're breaking through the wall segment I want. And they're also taking less damage before they hit the wall because they're moving faster. I go up and decoy the most important buildings. Mission break the wall is accomplished. And now the attack can go on as planned. Deploy the meat grinder. Here, I look to see that the last general has deployed from the castle before I deploy my commies. Very important, and I go over exactly why in my tips and tricks video. The commies are finished deploying, and I put down a decoy right away because I see all the town center troops barreling toward my meat grinder. The decoy forces them away, and I bring in all my planes for backup. And now I blitzkrieg, and not exactly in the best location, because the ideal spot would have been right above the Acropolis. I think I just panicked in the moment and really just wanted to make sure that I blitzkrieg the rocket arsenal. Luckily, because of the anti commies and Zooks layout, all the troops that spawn will funnel out toward that one opening in the wall. So I don't really get punished that hard for using a blitzkrieg a little off. Now I throw down my steroid combination, and the timing here is about as good as it gets. I've got all the generals right in one spot, so my meat grinder can really shred through everything. I do make a bit of a mistake in how I deployed the commies, so notice that the commies that I deployed on the southeast end up converging with my meat grinders in the same spot, and whenever that happens, those commies are basically dead. A better deployment would have just deployed the commies from about 7 or 8 o'clock to about 2 o'clock. 
Now I deploy my impy armies, and I hope that the absence of splash damage on the east means they can easily chew through the base and get me that 50% quick victory. Now I deploy all my zooks, and I sabotage the rocket arsenal and the defensive buildings around it. Now is the free-for-all stage where I just do whatever I think is the best in the current situation. But as you can see, the plan at the beginning was really what secured the quick victory. The MPs are wrecking everything exactly as I'd hoped. And there's just one wave of rocket arsenal troops that I need to deal with. I'm just using the fighters in whatever way I can to help with the attack. quick speed rally here to move things along. And now I'm just cleaning up buildings on the perimeter. So the attack went pretty well overall, aside from the glitch at the beginning and maybe not deploying the commies in the best way. There were some things about the base that made the attack easier. Obviously there were no defense coalitions and those can really make a big difference. It's also not the worst anti-commies and zooks base that I've seen, but as you can see with these kinds of bases, as soon as you break through the wall, your entire attack can just kind of fall into place. It's just a matter of how you break the wall to begin with. Also, the impies really helped out in securing the quick victory, and I think seeing openings like that where you can exploit weaknesses through troop tactics or any kind of planning will really help your attacks. I hope you all enjoyed the breakdown. Make sure you're subscribed for more Dominations content, and if you want a great community of Dominations players, check out the Dominations International Facebook page. Good luck out there, and have fun.